Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Matt, I am a full time reseller, and sorry if I have pit stains, that's embarrassing, but also, YOLO. I actually bought a mystery box, a $200 mystery box. There's 18 pieces in here, which brings it out to, I have to do the math. Um, but I bought it on Instagram from this guy named Tommy, and I will link him below. I'm so excited for this. I watched Hustle at Home Mom's video and then found out about who he was, reached out to him, bought a mystery box, she buys stuff from him. She really tries to help him grow his business, which is amazing. I will see after this box if I like it, I'm hoping I do. He said he included a vintage jacket for me to keep, just for me extra, so thank you so much for that, Tommy. Appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into this box. How many pounds is this? This is five pounds, but I feel like it's much more. So let's get into this. If you wanna see what I got in this mystery box, then stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into this. I see a colorful item and it looks like the jacket that he's giving me for free, like an extra. Oh my God. Look at this jacket. It's like a, I love it because it's like a light parka. And look at the back. If this is the one that I'm getting just for me, thank you so much. I love this. This is so sick. And in this box, you said there's going to be like, the tiers are like Free People, Madewell, Patagonia. So like, I was excited for that, you know? Um, so yes, it looks like this is We The Free. So it's extra small. Really cute, like loose, open crochet knit um, sweater. Uh, it's like a cream color with pink and brown on the collar. So I do like that. The brands I'm excited for because these are like bread and butter brands but a little higher tier than bread and butter. This is Patagonia, um, organic cotton shorts. They're green like olive, like army green color shorts. There are women size 12. If you put hiking in the description of any of this stuff, it sells immediately. Oh wait, this is a skirt. I was like, is this high waisted or is this a skirt? This is sick, this is a skirt. Um, it's like a denim-ish, like really soft skirt. Oh my God, a Patagonia cinchilla fleece. I'm obsessed. Oh, okay, so far, Tommy, good job, because so far, when you get mystery boxes from some people, like, the items, quality, some are stained, some are dirty, so far, the, um, quality of these items are clean, good quality, and I see a good piece down there as well, I'm super excited for this, and there's supposed to be 18 pieces, so, with the jacket, if it's, like he said, it's extra, there should be 19, so I'll count it at the end and tell you guys, I see a pair of shoes, this is, like, a turquoise, nice color, this is a size medium women's, Patagonia fleece, and I'm gonna try to move on this quickly-ish because, oh, I see Sundance down there. I learned that brand from Hustle at Home Mom, Ashley. She's amazing, I've learned a lot from her. Um, and uh, I've never sold Sundance, so that's the piece. This is Cara Lagerfeld Paris. Definitely the resale value for Cara Lagerfeld Paris has gone downhill-ish in the past few years. If you guys didn't know, I don't know why I said it like that. I think it's because Ross and Marshall started selling some of his stuff. But this is really classic, timeless piece, and the cost of goods I paid in this, I'm definitely going to be able to profit off of this, at least make $30. This is a, I'm assuming, men, size extra large, great size. It's like a stretchy, um, thing, uh, <laughs> track jacket. I'm so excited because I have my whatnot show tonight, but I really wanted to open this, so I'm excited I was able to do it. And this is the first ever mystery box I've gotten that I waited to open for the first time on camera to be surprised with you guys. Oh my god. Again, I've never sold these either in my whole six years of reselling. I just recently sold the plastic rubber pair, but these are Birkenstocks. They don't really have bad toe marks or anything, which is insane. Oh my god. Obsessed. Oh my god, Tommy, I'm gonna be buying more boxes from you. You're great so far. Um, okay, where's the other Birkenstock? Okay, it's right here. And if you guys want anything in this video or like anything to purchase, let me know. I can give you a great deal, especially if it's direct and off-platform because I can afford the fees. Um, what was the thing when the foot is filled in? It's like narrow and when it's not, it's regular or something. The width is wide. I don't know. I have to look it up. Comment below if you know. This is a size 38. I'm gonna have to look up the conversion, but these are women's Birkenstocks in great condition. Um, okay, so this is... Oh no, it's really pretty, but it looks like the beads are falling off. A few just fell off, which is fine. Um, you can't really tell, actually. Um, but yeah, I think a few beads just fell off, maybe just from being shipped, because there was a pair of shoes right there. But this is really cute. This is like a flowy, embroidered, yeah, embroidered beaded top from Sundance. I think this will do really well. It's 100% cotton, so I'm really glad about this. Even if it's missing a few beads, it will still sell. I know it's a good brand. I've never heard of this brand. Tell me if you guys have. These are a pair of shoes. They're Hogan, H-O-G-A-N. And again, even if it's not an incredible brand, look how clean these are and amazing. So Tommy's inventory so far is A+. Plus. Everybody, definitely go to his Instagram that I put in the description if you want a mystery box or something, and just let him know I sent you, and yeah. This is All Saints. I'm obsessed with All Saints. 
It's just really pretty. It's like a tie at the top and it's like taken in the middle. Is this a romper or a top? This is a romper. It's so cute. It's like leopardy print. And this is a size medium. Great size. Oh my god, another great brand. These are Spanx. These are Spanx, uh, and they're a size large. They're like a shiny, sheer shimmer to them, and they're really stretchy. So these are gonna do really well. These are a basic, like a high tier bread and butter. That's what I like about this box so far. It's like high tier bread and butter. Low tier would be like, Levi's. I mean, some Levi's are like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Low tier would be like bread and butter, like like White House Black Market, some mall brands, even like Madewell is a little lower tier. Uh, and then as it goes to like Free People and Patagonia, that's where it goes up to me. That's how I think of it. This is Sweaty Betty, and I've never until recently found a pair of Sweaty Betty recently that I just said recently twice. Really stretchy, nice. Um, so I have a pair of tie-dye Sweaty Betty leggings in my closet. Um, so if you're interested, check them out. These are a really cool print. I've never seen anything like this. It's like a geometric vibe. Sweaty Betty London, size four to six. And UK size small. So they stretch. This is really pretty. I love the colors of this. I'm like, please be a good brand. We'll see. It most likely is because he has great stuff so far. Okay, so the tag is tacked on like that, which usually is an indication that it's a really good brand. This is made in Italy. It's Pinko. P-I-N-K-O, it's like panko breadcrumbs, but with an I. This is, I don't know this brand. I feel like I'm gonna be really happy when I look this up because it feels quality. It's a ribbed, really stretchy top, and it reminds me of like that Y2K vibe, how they all had the, like, it looks really thin and small, but it stretches like crazy, so you know. Um, it's really nice and soft, and what size is this? Let me look what material this is made of. And color block is an incredible keyword to use when you're listing items. Okay, so the tag is still in here, yay. It's a size medium, great size. It's 100% wool, wow, it's soft wool. Made in Italy, yeah. So that's great. It's just Pendleton, I'm guessing. It's a blazer that feels like it's wool. So this is a blazer. Um, Patagonia? Is that what the lining says? What? This is a Patagonia blazer. I have never heard of this in my life before. Guys, tell me if this is a thing. I'm, the first thing I would think if I saw this in the thrift, like, is this fake? Because how is a Patagonia have a blazer? But then I recently saw, like, North Face jeans and Patagonia jeans, so, I mean, hey, this is definitely real. Like, so Patagonia does have blazers. Wait, I didn't know Patagonia had blazers, guys. That's insane. In the pocket, is there a tag to show the material content? Oh, it looks like the tag is cut out, but I feel like it's definitely wool. That's what it feels like. And it's lined. It's a 38 regular, so I'm assuming it's men's. And yeah, it's really nice, but that's insane to me that I didn't know Patagonia had blazers. Oh my god, another pair of Birks! Birkenstocks! And usually, like, when there's really bad, like, really, when it's, like, black toe marks or, like, really dark, they still sell for, like, 30 bucks. So imagine how well these are gonna do as well. These seem like a smaller size, but they're Birkenstocks. I'm happy to get these. They're size 37. I'm assuming that's women's as well. Okay, another show. Two pairs of Birkenstocks. Is this still recording? Imagine if it wasn't, I'd be so upset. These are crazy, these sneakers. They're like a stretch sock like material here and they're IRI made in they're IRI New York made in Italy. So do you guys know that brand? Please comment. And I'll put some comps on screen and say if I'm like yay or if I'm like oh it's alright or whatever it is. These are in pretty good condition as well. They have scuffing on the sides on the white parts, but I can use the magic eraser. I call it Mr. Eraser. <laughs> and there is some like wear and heel drag, but overall they're in great condition and you can tell they're a quality shoe. Here's the other Hogan shoe, H-O-G-A-N. Tell me, I'm gonna tell you the size for this. Oh, it has like a metal tag too, it looks quality. So again, seven and a half, I don't know if I already said that. There's how many pieces of clothing left? Oh my God, a third pair of Birkenstocks. Is this a joke? Tommy, you're my favorite person ever. <laughs> like, I went in my reselling career to never ever selling the suede regular cork Birkenstocks to now having three pairs in my closet. And these have more of a significant toe marks, but they're still in great condition. Look at the bottoms. And I heard with Birkenstocks, if you wear them once, they immediately get toe marks. So these could easily have only been worn a few times because the bottom looks amazing. And they're the buckles. And I don't know, what's the difference if you can tell it's men's or women's? Let me know. It says 38245L7M5 or 6, I don't know. But the big number is 38, so I assume it says 38. Okay, let me show you this pair of shoes and then the rest of the clothes. These are in really good condition. I do great with New Balance. They're bread and butter, at least like 25 or 30 bucks. And these are like a leather, it feels like. Genuine leather, usually, for New Balance. There's a few scuffs. Um, but they're still in great conditions. This is, uh, conditions. This is New Balance 696, the model. Oh, these are Eileen Fisher. These are great, and they seem like they're plus size. They're like a wide leg stretch pant. And what size are these? And it still has the tag and everything like that. Medium, 
Um, they seem like they're bigger though, so I might list them as the waist measurement because I think that is also sometimes when people find like basic, like either career wear or basic pants, especially Eileen Fisher. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is actually my favorite brand ever to sell. This is the last piece in the box. These are a paper bag style pants. I don't know if they came with a belt, but they don't have it, which is not a big deal. They have belt loops. But these are Veronica Beard jeans, guys. I've never sold the jeans. I've sold blazers for upwards of $289. I've sold the blazer for $290. I sold the shoes, the wedges for $180. I'm really good at remembering prices and stuff or like where I get shit. This is the Teddy Tapered High Rise. And this is Veronica Beard jeans. And these are so cute. And they're like a snap closure, which is really unique on the bottom. They have pockets. They're like a denim, but have a stretch and a waist is elastic. So yes, that is everything. Um, let me count the pieces really quick to see. I, tr I mean, knowing they're all good like items, like I trust that there's 18 pieces. I don't know. Um, you guys know because you just watched it, but I didn't really pay attention to how many. So one, let me count. One, two, three, yeah, 18, and then 19 is the jacket. Yo, I don't know how he knew my taste so well because I love this jacket. Anyways, I would rate this box 10 out of 10. Everybody go check out his stuff. And I'm not like a huge YouTuber or anything or anybody that has significant following, so don't think that like he just included this because like how some people think if somebody's a big YouTuber or whatever, they include good stuff just because of that. I've heard from other people that have gotten this box that they have amazing stuff. He advertises it well. He advertises what he gives. So I love that about that because sometimes you buy mystery boxes from people and they advertise certain brands and then like there's completely different stuff or like kind of shit stuff. So thank you Tommy again for this. I'll link his Instagram below. Go hit him up. He's a great guy. I don't really know him that well. Don't think we're like best friends. Hopefully we have like a relationship that grows with him supplying inventory for me. Um, but yeah. A lot of people are weird about sharing their sources and everything, but I want you guys to get great stuff too. So go hit him up, support his business, get good stuff for your business. Seems like I'm gonna be able to make a good profit off of this stuff, so I'll keep you guys posted. I'll probably do like a 30 day follow up when I list all this to see what sells and let you guys know how much I've profited off of this. And with shipping, it was two something, I think. So I'll put it on the screen what exactly I paid for this box. So it's kind of shocking too, because sometimes in mystery boxes, you have some pieces it's not sellable, and then you have to readjust your prices for cost of goods per item to ones you actually list, but I'm planning on listing all of this, but I am keeping that jacket. Thank you so much. So, uh, yeah, I'm the king of saying bye a million times. I say that in every video, but thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. If you like reseller content and this is your first time here, stay tuned on my channel. I've done videos like the past three days every single day, so I'm pretty proud of that because before I was like having a hard time being consistent, but it's a new time. It's a new decade. It's a new year. It's a new century. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite item was, and comment below if you know some of the brands that I said I didn't know. Uh, thank you guys. Follow me on Instagram, watch the thrifty store, and and bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.